Hey everyone, today we are taking a trip to a tropical paradise called Bali, which is also called as the island of the gods, but this wouldn't be your typical touristy tour. Buckle up because we are embarking on a solo adventure trip, soaking up the culture, the scenery and maybe a bit of self-discovery along our way. Stepping off the plane in uh, Ten Pasar, the humid air washes over thick with the scent of plumeria and incense. The energy is palpable, a contagious mix of spirituality and laid-back vibes. I grab my backpack, haggle for a taxi because hey, solo travel means embracing the local experience, isn't it? And head straight for Obod, the cultural heart of Bali. Obod is a sensory overload in the best way possible. With narrow streets lining up with art galleries and batik shops, the rhythmic clang of gamelans filling the air and the perfuma of offerings burning at every corner is what makes this place a really special one. And as I wander through the rice paddies, the emerald green fields stretching towards the volcanic mountains that pierce the sky, I also take a yoga class in the traditional bale, the open air pavilion, feeling my worries melting away with each and every deep breath that I'm taking in. But Bali isn't just about serenity, it's also about the adventurous aspect as well. I rent a scooty and zoom along the winding coastal roads, the wind whipping through my hair as I explore hidden beaches and charming villages. I haggle with friendly vendors at the overmarket, market, scoring unique souvenirs and delicious local snacks. And of course, not to mention no trip to Bali would be complete without a visit to Tana Lot. I suppose this is one of the most famous places out there, with the iconic temple perched precariously on the rock at sunset. The fiery orange sky reflected in the ocean is a sight that I'll never ever, and I mean I'll never ever forget. But the most enriching part of this whole solo trip that I have been discussing has been the people. From the warm smiles of fellow travellers to the patient guidance of my Balinese guide, I have been met with kindness and open hearts at every single turn, I swear. Sharing meals with locals, learning a few basic Bahasa Indonesian phrases and even participating the traditional kitchak dance ceremony, these experiences have given me a deeper, a very deep understanding of Balinese culture and its unique beauty. As I sit on the beach, watching the last rays of sunlight disappear, I reflect on this solo adventure. It wasn't just about exploring a new place, but it was also about exploring myself. Pushing my comfort zone, embracing the unknown and discovering a newfound sense of independence and resilience. Bali has shown me the magic of solo travel, the power of human connection and the beauty, the absolute beauty of simply being present in the moment. So, bottom line is, if you are ever considering a solo trip, I urge you to take the leap because Bali is an incredible destination but the journey is truly about the transformation from within. And who knows, maybe you will find your own little piece of paradise along the way. Thanks for joining me. And for further trips towards Bali or any other international destination or location, feel free to reach out to us, Trip and Care, and we shall plan a special trip accordingly for you guys. Thank you so much.